and welcome to another round of sports views tonight. I am reviewing the first match of the She Believes Cup. Well, the second match of the day, but the first match for Canada. United States Women's National Team won. Canada nil. Only took one goal, but Canada played, played pretty damn well under the circumstances for me. The goal was scored as follows in the 79th minute. Rose Lavelle gets the ball off a rebound. Takes a shot. Put it past Labe. I'll get to that in a minute. Puts it past Labe to make it 1-0. That's the way it would end. And it's kind of a sad one, to be honest. The stats were as follows. 28 shots to 9 shots. 10 shots on target to 3. 57% possession to 43% possession. 356 passes to 288 passes. 73% pass accuracy to 69% pass accuracy. 10 fouls to 12 fouls. 0 yellows to 0 yellows. 0 reds to 0 reds. 2 offside to 1 offside. 13 corners to 8 corners. I will say that Canada did amazing for the circumstances. One of those circumstances, as I said, I would get to in a minute. Kaylin Sheridan, the starting goalkeeper for this match, got injured with the first 10 minutes of the match and got subbed out for Stephanie Labe. Felt something in her leg after she put forward a corner kick or a goal kick, a goal kick, basically, and went down. And they checked on her. She was injured. They took her out for Labe. And it's sad because Kaylin Sheridan, it seems like every time she gets her chance, she either gets benched and dropped for Labe or she gets hurt. It, it sucks. You have to feel for it at this point because Kaylin Sheridan deserves a chance, a really good chance to be the number one for Canada. Now, Stephanie Labe did an amazing job tonight in goal when she came in, even with that one goal. It was near side. You can't really do anything about it, especially the rebound. You hope your defense gets it, but they didn't. She did a good job. But Kaylin Sheridan deserves better. She really does. And it hurts to see her get hurt like that. It really does. I wish Kaylin Sheridan could have played this whole match. Now, could it have been worse? Who knows? We don't know. But that sucks to see Kaylin Sheridan get hurt so early on. But Labe did replace well, did replace her well in her stead. I won't say Labe was the woman of the match. We'll get to that. But this game was an amazing game. Now, the U.S. did dominate. They did what they normally do. They keep possession. They go forward. They attack. This is a normal U.S. game. Now, the question is to me, Ryan, why are you so, why are you not mad? Why are you not depressed? Why you don't, why did you not hate this result? And I love this result for one reason. Bev Priestman, the way she set up Canada tonight was amazing in her first match as the manager of Canada women's national team Bev Priestman I love the way she sets up this team the way the team is set up under her amazing it's amazing she is a wonderful coach wonderful manager for this team she is no Heiner Moeller she is amazing they should have never hired Heiner Moeller he was a horrible at the start he was horrible at the finish. I was happy he was gone. I had a couple of reservations. Not reservations, but suspicions. I don't know how to put it. Like, I had a couple of questions. Let's put it like that about Bev Priestman. I did. We all did. But I think she answered those questions. Now, she lost to the USA. But if this was still a Heiner Moeller team, it would have been like 5-0, 4-0, 3-0. The way the team was set up was amazing. Attacking tries to press for the ball. I think they were a little bit afraid to shoot. They were still in the Heiner Moeller mindset there. Try not to shoot to cause a counter because they should have shot the ball a couple of times. They had a couple of attacks that they, if they had shot the ball, I'm not saying they would have scored, and I'm not saying they would have scored goals, but they would have been good shots. I don't think it would have caused counterattacks. The Canada defense was better this time. They were better. I think the Bev Priestman system is perfect. It really is. Yes, it has to be fleshed out. It has to be learned. But the first time to see it against a team like the USA, wow, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm happy. This was a game, amazing game. Janine Becky, Quinn, amazing players tonight. Fleming as well, as I said. Stephanie Labe was amazing in goal. Like, everybody did their part. 
and I know you're saying, but we still lost 1-0. Canada still lost 1-0. And U.S. fans are like, why are you focusing on Canada? One, I'm wearing a Canada shirt. Second of all, y'all did what you had to do. There was nothing really special about the U.S. They played their game. They scored the goal 10 minutes before the end. That's sometimes classic U.S. There you go. That's all I could say. U.S. played a good game. They were a good side. They were amazing tonight as well. They dominated. That's all I could say. The stats tell you exactly what you need to know about the USA. They got the goal that they needed, and they were dominant. There you go. There you go. That's what you need to hear about them. Canada, you could just dive into. You could dive into this team, the way they performed. They were amazing. They lost, yes, but it would have been worse had the old manager, Heiner Moeller, still been here. Probably would have been worse under Herdman, if I'm being honest. Now, that is a couple of years of him being, uh, eh, for the men's team. Yes, they're getting better, but do you really think it's Herdman? Nah, nah. Get me, get me like Maurizio Sadi or Goose Hitting, and you're going to see that it wasn't Herdman. Um, or hell, I'll do it. You'll see it wasn't heard, man. But back to the point. <sighs> back to the point. I think the way Bev Priestman set up this team was amazing. Learned a lot from Phil Neville, and you could see it. And I like this because Canada needed a shot in the arm. The women's team needed a shot in the arm to stay to stay at their level. Now, now the young players are coming through, as in a Viennes, a Heidema, who wasn't at this tournament, but still. Listro, you have players coming in, but this team needed a shot in the arm. They needed tactics. They needed different tactics. They needed a manager to nurture these young players. That's Bev Priestman. And with these older players and Bev Priestman on this team, I'm not saying Canada is due for a big blow up, but they'll hold their place and maybe go up a little bit, but they'll hold their place. Will they do good at the Olympics? I hope. I want to see them do good. Now, I want to see them do good. I want to see them do amazing things, but it's going to be a while. Will they do good at the next World Cup? I think so. I'd love to see them medal at the Olympics. I don't know. It's all about how this team plays, but they have belief in themselves. They have, over the game as it was going, they believed in themselves more, that they could play this style, that they could play well in this style, and very quickly as well, and I love to see it. It was amazing to watch this game. They passed well. They put the ball forward well. They pressed well. I have no complaints at all. It's better than I expected. It was better than I expected, because let's be honest, I expected Canada to lose. I did. We all did. If you expected them to win, uh, give me $5 because you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Bold-faced lying. And you could do that if you want, but... Or you were being a wishful thinker, but I'm going to say you're a liar. Uh, I'm going to say you're a liar. Um, yeah, give me, my, give me $5. You lied. PayPal me $5. E-transfer me $5. You lied. Well, I don't have a PayPal, but maybe I'll set one up if enough of y'all who thought Canada was going to win send me $5. Or, or, at least subscribe to my Patreon for a month when I start it. I'll notify you. But I don't know when I'm going to start it, but it'd be nice, you know. Back to the point. Canada did amazing, way better than I expected. Woman of the match for me, or player of the match. Janine Becky, she played well. I think she was amazing. She did well, had a couple of good chances. Yeah, Janine Becky, she did well, had a couple of good chances, could have scored, she didn't, but hey, them's the breaks in football. So... Yeah, player of the woman of the match, player of the match. Yeah, Janine Becky. So with that, 
If you'd like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. I don't know what my next video is going to be. Because I don't know if I'll do an RSR on Wednesday for Canada, Argentina, or I mean Canada, Brazil. I know I'm not doing anything on Sunday because I'm watching Elimination Chamber. I'm a wrestling fan. You at least get this, though. So with that... If there's any news, I'll do a video about it. I maybe I'll maybe do a TFC song parody. I don't know. Maybe I will. I should. So it's preseason. I may do that. I don't know what my next video is going to be before the 27th. I think I'll do some le about Leon because like scouting the competition, but before February 27th, I don't know what my next video will be. Could be the 27th, could be before. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what pops up. How I feel, what pops up, you know? We'll see. So with that, I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.